Look at these little dudes. Chaos. Chaos. Chaos, you leave everybody alone. Carlos is just chilling. Space test? Yeah, I'll take one. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm out here camping. We got the van set up and I got the homie Jeff out here. So if you guys have been following along uh, for a few years, when I drove out to California, I drove out and saw Jeff. I uh, camped in his driveway. We went and did some hiking. I went to a car show with his dad and he's like, well, I'm gonna drive out there and see you. So here we are. We're at one of my local lakes. We're gonna crash here tonight. If you guys can't tell, it is incredibly hot out here right now. Uh, we're in a heat advisory, so we're gonna brave it tonight, see what happens. Uh, and then tomorrow, we'll probably go back to my house and shower, and I think we might end up crashing there, because I think it's gonna be pretty brutal tonight. But uh, we're gonna hang out. We've got some good food to cook. We're we gonna drink waters. some drinks. We've, We've got, got plenty of water. We're gonna be like one-to-one -one with water and brews tonight. And then here's a, a shot of the bed. I put blue sheets on it so it's all matchy matchy. So we'll see how I sleep in there tonight. I got the windows open and everything's open right now, just kind of letting the breeze go through. <laughs> He's got everything packed in here. Does this have the roof that goes forward? Yeah, yeah, this has the roof that like opens up, but uh, you can see, I guess, my bed. I don't know. It's, it's not much, very pretty yet, but. He's just crashing doing a cross country trip. But yeah, yeah these been for three nights and and uh, this has been a. Uh, you did truck stop last night, truck stop shower. <laughs> this is the bed right here. Now it's now it's cleared out. You can see. <laughs> it's it's all you need. <laughs> yeah. It's all you need. Yeah, if you guys don't know these GMC envoys, these old ones are kind of neat. Uh, so it's got the the sideways tailgate. Um, does this also fold down normally? Yeah, I, dude, I just learned, I just did it the other night, uh, uh, getting out. It actually, I pushed the button and I leaned it on it and it, I'll, I'll have to do it right now in a minute. I'll so, hold. and does that roll down? Yeah, that rolls down. This rolls down. Yeah, this opens, opens up, both ways. Yeah. This opens up. It's, it's and this, really cool. this back panel will slide forward. So you basically get this like mini little truck bed in here. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Look at that. You don't get that with a lot of modern SUVs. I think the only modern SUV that still does that. Oh, look at this. You need a screen set up for that so you can just open it in the middle of the night and chill. Sleep under the stars. Yeah. <laughs> you know, look at that. Convertible. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Like when I when I came across this, it had 67k, and I just turned over 91 something on this trip. So like, fairly new motor, one owner. He barely drove it. It's an 05, and uh, I graduated 08. So like, right when I graduated, this thing was only three years old. If I would have came across this when I was graduating, mm -hmm. I would have freaking been in heaven. Oh with yeah, my surf mobile. But yeah, that is cool. With uh, yeah, with what it does, and then let me see if I can get it to do. Do, the do you remember how to do it? I mean, you just gotta like, wait. I was inside when I did it. I don't know how it Is there was, a separate but button on the outside? I, I mean, all I know is when I was in here and I was leaning, here, watch out real quick. Oh yeah. There it is. <laughs> I just have to like lean on it or something. That's like, cool. Put the right amount of pressure. That and is cool. So like, yeah, it's a tailgate now. And yeah. that's like literally I just figured that out on this trip too. So like, <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. That's awesome. Yeah, but, um, the the roof is pimp. Yeah, this it's super cool that it does that. I, yeah. Needs tail light. I need to I need to get that fastened on there, but there it is. Man, that's <laughs> awesome. So if any of you guys want something like this, get a find an old GMC envoy. Yeah, 05. This one was an 05. I don't know what other years did it, but it's a XUV, I guess it's called. So it's supposed to be half truck, but I don't know. I, I still feel like it's a, it's, it's cool. You could thing. put something tall in there if you needed to. Yeah. Yeah. Sticking out a tree or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, it's Cerveza time. We got to let the sun set a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Get so ourselves a fire going. Yeah. I'm just over here dripping. Uh, Elysian Brewing. Elysian. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you, have you had one of these yet? I've had one, but it's been a while. We're gonna give one of these a shot, guys. Okay, so yeah, um, it is super hot. Uh, we gotta say cheers, but can't do it with the, the caps on, right? 
<laughs> you know how we know we're the both dirt balls? We both know how to open a beer with a lighter. Cheers, man. All right, yeah, freaking. Life's good. Life is amazing. I made it out here. All right, y'all. So we've hung out for a while. We've thrown back a couple of beers, and uh, it's it's cooled off a little bit. It's what time is it? 6:52. So it's almost seven o'clock. We're gonna wander around, do a little bit of fishing, see if we can catch ourselves bait, because we do have a couple of catfish poles, but neither one of us brought worms. So we'll see if we can catch some bait on something. Uh, if not, we can walk into the local bar and get a thing of worms. But we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, fingers crossed we they got worms in there. That's not that. All right, guys, we're we're gonna. I got my little collapsible rod here. We walked around the lake because there's bushes all around and they started mowing it right here over to the dock. So we're gonna kind of wander that way. But I just got a, this is what I had tied on with Travis and I put a little trout nugget on there cause we don't have anything else. Trout nuggets and crappie nuggets. Let's see if that works. Jeff's got a little swim bait on. He's gonna see if that works. So we're just gonna take a wander. I'll probably need to drop that bobber down but we'll see what kind of dangle happens here. And I should have got my sunglasses because I can't even see my bobber. There we go. Yeah, we're right right in the sun here. It's hard to even get down there. Yeah, they've never let it grow like this out here. Ooh, I just got a nibble, I think. Holy cow, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been casting like I don't even know how many times. Already all sweaty. Yeah, I know this is like grass is tough. <laughs> <laughs> Summers are hot. Oh, like the humidity in the summer is uh, yeah. <laughs> you sweat your ass off. I'm just soaked. You got it. Oh, you see those fish jump right there? Yeah, I saw something. I hope it'll be hotter tomorrow. <laughs> Oop, getting a, I'm getting a bite. Something was nibbling, something's nibbling. Something was nibbling at that thing for show. For show, for show. I'm gonna try it. All right, y'all, right, so we walked into town here. Uh, there's a bar and grill. We might have a drink and have something to eat. Oh, there's a puppy on the road, but we didn't catch anything. And they sell worms here, so we're gonna buy some worms also. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're in the bar. We ordered a couple burgers. We've had a couple of drinks. And the plus side is, they didn't have any worms here, but as we walked in, dude across the seat saw us with his fishing poles, and he's like, hey, he came over and he's like, hey, you guys want worms? <laughs> so we bought worms off of a local that just saw us walk in the bar. So we've got worms for later, and we're gonna smash some burgers. We're just chilling. That's very good. Worms? Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, remember you said this? <laughs> Something, I don't remember. Oh All right, y'all. We're heading back over to the, the lake. We've left the bar. Walking down the roads, we've got our fishing poles. Yep. We left those outside of the bar when we stopped, but the burgers were amazing. Oh, so oh good. look at the pink off the lake. The sunset's gonna be really cool. Oh, um, we're just kinda, yeah, the sun is just starting to go down and we've got ourselves some worms. So hopefully we can catch ourselves some fish, but we're gonna go get ourselves a fire going and hang out at camp. Yeah, that's a good looking sunset. This will give us a little bit of light anyways. Heck yeah, it's finally cooled down a little bit. A little bit. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, there's some sticks and junk over here. We'll just go ahead and toss that whole thing on. It'll be fine, right? Yeah, that. 
Jesus. Yeah, it's going to be hot all night, huh? It's all damn beautiful. It's all night. Chase this in our fucking rig. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have a hand? No, no, I'm sorry. But, um, I mean, I've, I've made do. Once you lay in there and you kind of. Lighting is still an issue. Let me grab a different light. If I can find the correct box, which is probably all the way in the back. I need the fan though. We've got that. Can we put this back here? Maybe make it look a little bit better. There we go. Is that a little better for the time being? Can't see under here. Okay. <laughs> Find another light. It's gonna blind me. How's that? That's better. So we bought food to eat. We didn't cook any of that because we went to the bar. We ate over there, which was probably the smartest choice considering how warm it is out there right now. This is gonna feel really good though. I'll tell you that. Turn on. Here we go. High power fan. All right. It's probably kind of loud. Whew. Yeah, I'm just sweating. We're in a heat advisory right now, guys. Let me tell you what the temperatures are. Got the little windows open and whatnot. It's not bad, actually. It's currently 76. We have a low of 72 tonight. I guess saying that's not bad, but it's currently 91% humidity. So that's where you get the rough out of this. It's very, very humid. So although the temperature doesn't sound terrible, if you're moist, the moistness doesn't go away anytime soon. Yeah. Thoroughly discombobulated in here still. GoPro stuff. Closing my curtains because why not? I mean he's right over there too. And he's got his He's going to be having this stuff, <laughs> you guys can't see me, he's going to be like wide open with his doors and whatever because he doesn't have any way to, he doesn't have screen windows or anything, so, always do that. Blam. That doesn't look very different on camera. I need to figure out a more permanent solution for these. Uh, obviously. How about that? Alright, and for the back side, I just have one big one. Uh, it works fine. As long as I don't open the door, I guess I didn't even lock that door. Right now, there's there's a panel that you can open up in the back here. Or like if this panel wasn't on the door, there'd be a hole here in the metal. And you would be able to access that from the inside. So, uh, even for the time being, I might 
cut an access hole in there and get like a trim ring so at least I can stick my finger in there and open this door from the inside. If I do rebuild the door panels, it'll definitely have some way to open the door from the inside. I'll probably end up tearing this down in the middle of the night at this point, probably. I gotta go at this one from the other direction. I don't want my socks all over my pillow. I'm gonna take them off, but I haven't got there yet. I don't want to start stripping with the windows open. Yeah, that's kind of annoying having to do it like in that format. Really need something like these, but tight. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I just sat here for like two minutes. There's flies in here. I just sat here for like two minutes and talked to myself because the camera wasn't rolling, but. Um, I've got, I finally stopped sweating, which is awesome. And I know you guys can't really see the bed very well, probably, because everything is blue, because I bought blue sheets. <laughs> blue pillowcases, it's all blue. It's a blue world, you know. And, uh, if I lay down on here, like, I usually sleep on my side, probably about like this. If I were to stick my foot out, I could definitely stick it through that little screen. <laughs> But they're easy enough to fix and replace the screen portion of it anyways. You can put a new screen in, no problem. But like over here, like I could just sleep this way if I wanted to. But it's cool right now since I have the magnets on the back. It's kind of, you got to work yourself in there good and not pull that down. But like if you get over here and just chill in the corner, you got so much room. I need to get one of those little pillows that's got the little arms on it for chilling but yeah so the screen part of that window is just right here so if you had proper fans you could be pulling air over you all night uh, unless my it's kind of dangling so I get down a little bit over here but all I've got in here is a sheet <laughs> like I said I already did this I just talked to the camera for like Probably 10 minutes and I didn't have the camera turned on. And I need to give myself a haircut because it would feel nicer in here if I didn't have this on my head. I'm going to move the fan out of that window. Set it right here on my cooler. I don't have... Let me move you guys back. I don't have you guys on the GoPro. So it's not a super wide lens. I guess move that out of the way now. Had that in that little window. There. Look at all this room. And that's not even like... My wide GoPro. <laughs> and yeah, just chilling on the bed over here. Bada bing, bada boom. And I can sleep fine. I think I'll be able to sleep fine on my side here. Yeah, I'm sharing the space with some flies tonight, that's for sure. I shouldn't have left my doors open, but what do you do? For now, I think I'm satisfied with this. But I'm going to take my shirt off before I go to bed. So, I will see you guys in the morning. screen out in the middle of the night and uh, once I finally fell asleep it was all right that took a little while tell you what it's gonna warm up very fast today high of 97 so 
It's currently 93% humidity. Well, I suppose, thoughts on the bed. It was fine. I found like I had to tell myself I had more than a couple of feet of space. Just put my shirt on so you don't see my titties. The bed. So I'm not used to having a bed that that's this wide. So like I started trying to sleep like right here, and I was like, oh yeah, I have a whole another extra bed basically that I've not used yet. So I had to kind of. Uh, I had to act, like crawl back farther on the bed, make myself uh, use the entire space. One thing I did notice is as I move around, it wants to slide forward. Uh, so I might end up cutting like another inch or so off of the edge of this bed and then putting some sort of lip on. It's not like it's going to fall off, but I could tell it does. It does inch this way. But, other than that, it was great. Well, and the fact that it was hot as hell. <laughs> that made it hard to fall asleep, but... Once I did, I was fine. Yeah. Well, y'all, we've got everything cleaned up. I'm kind of letting the sun maybe try to dry. There we go, dry this off a little bit. And I've got the van packed up. Bed was good last night, guys. I'm, I think, I think that's gonna work for me. But it's starting to get hot out fast. So we've packed our stuff up. We're gonna head back to my house so we can shower, etc., eat some food and head on down the road. We're gonna go wander around a little bit this afternoon, so. I'll take you guys along for that so uh yeah we're gonna get out of here before it's 90 degrees stay tuned y'all <laughs> well there's the steaks that we didn't cook last night because we went and had dinner so we're gonna do steak and eggs for breakfast he's gonna cook some steak and eggs i guess so i'm not gonna say no to that heck yeah it's going down <laughs> steak and eggs for yeah breakfast. all right you guys so some more eggs going down look at this Steak and eggs for breakfast. Over easy eggs. Oh. Get yourself a homie that makes breakfast at your own house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so these are the haunted stairs. Uh, regardless or not if they're haunted, this is a creepy vibe. <laughs> like no matter what. No matter so what. bugs? Those are cicadas. Yep. Yeah. So we're, we're somewhere that I guess I've never taken you guys. We are at Hummel Park here in Omaha. Uh, we've just been kind of cruising around. You can see the building behind me. And you can see these wild steps. Um, these steps have, they're known as like, I believe it's called the Devil's Stairway. Uh, because legend has it that as you walk up and down, if you count them, you can never get the same number going up as you go down. Uh, and it's a long stairway. You can see him way down there. And Hummel Park has a lot of wild history. There's been a lot of uh, bodies found in this park here. This gets closed down at night. You're not allowed in this park at night. Um, this place has been rumored to be the home of many satanic rituals. And then the biggest urban legend about this place, and that it's st currently still true, is that there is a group of albinos out here, like an albino encampment. They don't believe it's a family. Um, and then some people believe that they're responsible for the satanic rituals and some of the murders. I don't know. It's all kind of legend and things like that, but... Uh, yeah, that's a long stairway. I'm not walking all the way down there. He wants to count them. It, it, but it is a pretty cool spot. Uh, 
yeah, it's still going. I didn't realize how long the steps were. It's just a huge staircase and it's all just old stone. Probably harvest somewhere locally. And it's hot. <laughs> it's very, very hot. <laughs> all right, stay tuned y'all. All right, y'all, we're at the Alpine Inn. We're gonna go see if we can find ourselves some rakins. Look at this, look at this, guys. You guys can't see them though. My camera is not picking them up. Oh, I can't It's like not showing them. It's my spirit animal. There's three raccoons. If you wanted to make a hat, now would be a good time. <laughs> so, y'all, we're at a place called the Alpine Inn, and it's what they're known for, some raccoons. Yeah, they feed the raccoons here. They're known for uh, the raccoons coming and eating, and then you get to watch them eat and eat yourself. If you guys can't tell, like, raccoons on their menu. It is on there. Yeah, that is awesome. Wow, I'm glad like we saw it. This is like a, a special thing, then, or like a unique... A little like low key. Cute little dudes, man. Yeah, oh, little that. dude, here he comes right up. They're gonna come eat out of the trough. Belly up to the bar, boys. Look at these little dudes. <sighs> All right, kind of moved over to the other door, and a bunch more showed up. Look at these oh, little dudes. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> chaos, dude, chaos you leave everybody alone. Carlos is just chilling. Dude, the lady at Cabela's, I worry about the fishing license, she uh, had a dog named Chaos. Did she? <laughs> yeah, was, I thought that was hilarious when she told me the name. It sounds like I would name my next dog Chaos. <laughs> Alright, guys, so the, the raccoons in there were pretty cool. Uh, we had a beer and some onion rings, which were pretty tasty. I'm going to have to bring the wife back here because they serve chicken, and I guess the chicken is good. today. Uh, this year is their 50th year here, but uh, we saw a spot called Shucks, which is like an oyster bar, and we're going to head to one. and try Super some, excited. Yeah, we're going to try some oysters. I've never had a raw oyster that might make me puke, but we're going to give it a whirl. Stay tuned, y'all. Mm. Yeah, we need more lemon than that. Alright guys, we've got oysters and I'm going to try these things. Um, I'm a little scared to be honest with you. There's five different kinds. They go in a circle. These are what we got. It's just a roll of them. We got the roundabout. So, yeah. <sighs> I'll be honest with you, this is a little bit more scary than the minnow shot just because I've never had an oyster before and these are raw oysters and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Let's put a little bit of, you want a little bit of... Everything. However you think yeah, this is yeah. going to be, going to be good. Okay, lemon and, what well, I don't know what this is, horseradish maybe? Do you like the kick of horseradish? I'll take it. Yeah. If it yeah. covers the slime of this. Uh, it might cover a little bit, yeah. Probably just a little dab and then some Tabasco probably the hot sauce. A dab will do you. you. You probably don't need the horseradish actually. But yeah, a couple a couple dabs in each one. You want to bust it. Wait, put, put like one more on or something. So for the video sake. Alright, we're about to get down. We flavored up the first first set of oysters. Mike, uh, Mike isn't so confident in taste. I guess he doesn't eat them as much, but never had them. We threw some lemon, so they're already starting to cook. Yeah, let's get down. Cheers. Do you just suck it right out of the thing? Yeah, just um, yeah, this way, like, like so. Sometimes you gotta put your finger, slurp it out. You gotta like, you might have to like, yeah, slurp it or put your finger. I don't know. All right, All right. cheers, cheers, bless it. Yeah, really good. good. Scared for nothing. That's good. So good. That's really good. Well, right. you never know what you're gonna like. I know that there's probably a lot of you out there that have never had these and they don't look amazing, but if you like seafood, you can down those. We're going to keep going around and we're going to just gonna smash these. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we've made it back to the house. We had a pretty long adventure today. We went and 
saw a lot of places, did a lot of things, Hummel Park. Uh, there's a few things that I didn't even film. Uh, we went and walked across the Platte River Bridge. I showed him that. You can check out his channel if you want to see that video. Might be a while before it gets out. He's still got to take the drive home and whatnot. But he brought oh, these things over and I can't say no, so I'm going to give it a shot. These are Little America Spicy Pickled Quail Eggs. Can you see that? Is it focusing? There you go. I don't know if you guys can see those things float around in there. There's jalapenos, there's jalapenos in there. So we're going to give these things a shot. I don't know. <laughs> you do the honors. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm not even gonna smell that. I don't want to smell that. Right I, I have to try and smell it. Oh, it smells good. It's just like pickled jalapeno. Doesn't smell good. Well, oh, it's a small one. I'm gonna eat that one. There you go. All right, hold on. Let's see. He's coating his mouth with with. Cheese first. I don't think that's fair. Are you gonna put it on a tater chip and eat it? Yeah, I think so. I'm going in raw. Are you raw dogging it? I'm raw dogging it. It does smell spicy. All right, cheers. But it's a tiny little egg. Cheers. <laughs> kind of a little bit of gag coming, but not terrible. The chip definitely helped it. I'm gonna be dying with all that chip. It's a little spicy. <coughs> a little, yeah, it does have a kick. It certainly does. Yeah, one of those is good. Uh, they're stuck in my teeth now. You better have a chip. Yeah, it'll, uh, that'll, probably, that'll probably help. The salt will help for sure. I gotta say, the oysters were better than the quail eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Pretty good though. I mean, I would eat another one. Not bad. You go all for it. I'm good on one. I don't need any more tonight, but mm. I would. I'd probably I'd eat, eat it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not terrible. Not too bad. Not amazing. But not very good. But not very bad either. No. <laughs> all right, guys. I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. We've had a long day, like I said. Uh, it's been great hanging out with Jeff. I'll leave a link to his channel down below if you guys want to go subscribe and check it out and give him some support. And uh, we'll probably see each other again at some point in the future. Maybe when I get back out to California or if he comes back out at a, a slightly nicer time of year. But yeah, it's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah, it was really hot. <laughs> yeah. Too hot this trip. A little but. warm, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.